We are under the lights this evening as we and get now, you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Astros. Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. Astros baseball starts right now. Vita Blue, a right-hander out of Louisiana, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, just like batters go into slump, pitchers go into slumps too. This guy really struggled in his last one. He took the loss and wasn't able to get out of the third inning. Hopefully he can flip that mojo around in this one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Blue Gehrig. Runner in scoring position with two guns. Number four. That a boy. First offering on its way. And he tries to hold oh, back on the count. swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Maddie, for me today, the key to winning this ball game hey, begins right and ends on, on the on mound. Now. And it has to be early on the attack, getting 0-1. You can't allow oh, these guys to get into count leverage and to hunt your fastball. The there has player, to be execution down and away, up and in to keep these guys honest, and it has to start from pitch one. Fouled away. Got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch hey, off in a big it. spot. 0-2 no count. Go. Heater caught too much of the zone. Pulled toward right center field. You're going. You're going. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Astros leave one. Still no score. Into the box now, now Blue back. Gehrig. He flew four. out in his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last. Last AB certainly line. just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and hey, get, get on something there, and huh? drive it out of the yard. This AB. Swing and a liner. Foul. One out. Nobody on. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And this one is gone, a home run. Solo shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Astros have pulled back even now with one run apiece. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. To the plate hey, now is the designated there, huh? hitter, Lou Gehrig. One for Put two in the ball game thus far. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell hey, by that nice last at bat, he pitch. wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. In there, a base hit. Ah, uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jimmy Fox. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Hey, see you driving right back to the pitcher, huh now? Fly ball out to straightaway right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Down, down, down. Throw won't get him. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Now at the plate, Ty Cobb. Right and he's got runners at the corners here with only Double one gun. Zero. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. See it up. Drive it like you can. 3-0 pitch. There's That's ball four. Ball four. It was obvious when the count ran to 2-0 and that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. No in a slaughter field. as he's presented right with the bases loaded situation Water. in a tie ball game. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Grounded to the right. Reined in. On, the Get second down. for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. So striding in, Lou Gehrig. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have your to pitch, give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching Easy. on the other side has been really impressive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Hey, get on for us here. Smoked on the ground, left side. And that's going to get through into left. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. Striding into the box, now Jimmy better. Fox. Number three. Right, no one better. Let's go. Need you right now. Make something happen for us. High pop up. Santos just to the right of the mound. Makes the play one away. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just now dodged a bullet. Number zero. Good job. Drop him in for it. The 0-2 delivery to short. And that's through for a base hit. Well, you guys. know what? Good, job. good, good hitters job, are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his presence. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Right. And that four. misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. And now batting, five. Eddie Matthews. Up next to the no Astros. hits for him yet in the game, the despite his man. team's offensive Eddie. onslaught. Matthews. Watch up for us now. The 3-2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. 
I'm really impressed by that strikeout, and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases-loaded situation, that could drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I loved is he didn't let him take it out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking it one pitch at a time. The catcher number five, Johnny Bench. The bouncer to the left side. There to take All right, it. Hold on, hold on, right and there. The innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Astros leave them loaded. Score remains deadlocked at one. Ready for another chance. Lou now Gehrig. Back. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Looking good. No one better up there. Huh? You go. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to the right. Foul. The 0-1. Good cut fastball that no time, ball. and he's in control now. 0-2. Oh hey, watch out. This hey, hitter's got now. one thing Nobody on his back. mind. Now the 0-2 oh pitch. Yanked on the ground oh, down the line. Back. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Watch out. Drive him in right here. Here you go. Ready with another two-strike offering. And it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Here you go. Need you right here. Here's the 0-2 in the air out toward right field. Come on, go hard, you're scoring. Meadows go is under on. it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Houston, still tied, one apiece. Striding in for Houston, Lou Gehrig. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Come on, let it fly. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball right side. He's got it. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Tampa Bay Rays slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Chaz Rowe gets the win in relief his second of the year. Christy Mathewson takes the loss, only his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays, six runs, 15 hits, no errors. They left 19 runners on base. For the Astros, four runs on 14 hits, no errors. They left 19 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.
Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting in the AL West, the Tampa Bay Rays swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they stole the victory in extra innings over the Astros 6-4. In other Astros news, catcher Richard Ibanez has been recalled to the major leagues from AAA. The Royals were winners over the visiting Rangers 5-3. The Cards sent three balls into the seats as they defeated the A's in Oakland 5-4. The Brewers launched three home runs as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field 8-6. The Angels center fielder, number 22, really cashed in at the dish with three hits and six RB. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Walter Johnson, a right-hander from Kansas, will be on the mound here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, how good has this guy been up to this point in a day and age where guys and teams are scoring lots of runs to have an ERA sub two? That's saying something. Hopefully, we're going to see more of the same from this guy, one of the top pitchers in all the league. Batting four. The Coming to the plate hitter. now, Lou Number Gehrig. Four. He takes his first cuts hey, in this one with a man at first and two away. From the belt, kicks and deals. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. He yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Gehrig is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. So far this season, Gehrig is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss any of his at-bats. Smoke toward the hole. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat-to-ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, D-Row, for being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit the other way out round toward hard, right field. You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring! And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We move ahead to the top of the second now. It's the Rays three, and the Astros nothing. So stepping in, Lou Gehrig, Number coming four. off a season in which he was named the American League Silver Slugger at DH. Come on, big guy. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Now in the box, Jimmy Fox, the American League's Number Silver three. Slugger Award winner at first base a season ago. Hey, get your fits up there. Let's go, kid. Come on, the 1-1 home. 
Line drive snagged on a short hop. Yeah, find the ball. Find first the ball. As they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Come on, big guy. Digging in, right Lou here. Gehrig. Couple Number of singles four. to his credit thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit sharply on the ground. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him. On the, the base bag, hit. on the bag, right here, on the bag. Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's his third knock of the night. Uh, talk about having a good night. Three hits, and hey, he might have another at bat or two before this one ends. Digging in, Jimmy Fox. He's 0 for 2 Number thus three. far in this one. Hey, be patient, be patient, get yours. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. Two strike RBI base hit. The ball wasn't hit very hard, Dero. But from a hitter's perspective, you'll take it any way you can get it. Yeah, in today's day and age where everyone's looking to go deep and can go deep, not many guys have a legitimate two strike approach. This is one of those players, and that's exactly what he did. Shortened his stroke a little bit, didn't try and do too much, and came through right, for the team. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Meadows is back to the warning track, and he's able to put Get it out, away out. for the second out. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The left fielder, Into the box, Ina Slaughter. And Ina. we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners Water. on base and two gone here in the fifth. Now here's a swing and a little bouncer out to the left of the mound. And he is safe at the plate as he just sneaks in there in time, and it's now a 7-4 game. Stepping into the box, Lou Gehrig, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here we go now, come on. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounded down the third baseline. You're going, you're going, and you're going, you're going, you're going. Over his glove. Oh, what a time for that. And the tying run comes around to score from second. Hey, it's nice a 7 7 game. Hey, after being down by two, getting into the middle of this one, that's a huge base hit right there, Dero. Big two RBI knock. Yeah, down by two right there, able to come through for the team. And we probably got an exciting finish on our hands. At the plate, Jimmy Fox. Now, He's working on a Number one three. for three thus far. Hey, get a good one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Line drive to left. Oh, and he can't come up with round it. Round hard, round hard. You score. Hornsby is you score. on his way home. Now the relay home. He beat it. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Into the box now. Ty Cobb. Yeah, he's got a hit in Number three at-bats to this point. Four runs here in this half inning. Your pitch right here, kid. Let's go. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. And that becomes the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. now. Nice. Ina Slaughter. Right. He's two for three and looking for more here. Water. The one two. Soft liner to the right side. On the back, pick it up. And pick the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. 
Not sure the spin throw was necessary there, but it sure looked good. Would have been questionable if he threw it away, but he put it right on the money for the out. So coming to the plate, Eddie Matthews. No hits to this baseman. point. Eddie Matthews. They let her rip here. Scorch to third. And Chipper slide, slide, can't come slide, up with slide. it. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. Nine men come to the plate for score. Seventh inning coming up. The Astros lead it 8 7. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And in steps the Iron Horse. Lou Gehrig. He's been swinging a hot bat in the series with seven base hits coming in. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch. Line drive. Base hit to right. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo, tying the game up. Yeah, that's not the Number case three. now. Hey, come on, now one time right here. Drilled to first, fielded cleanly, yeah, slide, slide, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Astros forced to settle for only the one run. Eighth inning coming up. Houston leads this one 9 7. Boy, I'll tell you, not all wits are created equal. There's something really satisfying about being down five runs and you band together to find a way to get that win. They've got a huge bounce in their step heading into their next game. This one wraps up as a 10-8 final. The Astros put a 10 spot on the scoreboard in this one. Bob Feller gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, 10 runs, 15 hits. No errors. They left 18 runners on base. For the Rays, eight runs on 16 hits. No errors. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. These two square off on the diamond right after this.
Babe Ruth, a Maryland-born southpaw, will be doing the starting pitching in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, how good has this guy been up to this point? In a day and age where guys and teams are scoring lots of runs, to have an ERA sub two, that's saying something. Hopefully, we're going to see more of the same from this guy. Oh, One of the Ow. three. Ow. Stepping in, Ted Williams. Batting four. The designated hitter, Ted Williams. First pitch coming, here it is. On a line to shortstop. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Stepping up now, Ted Williams. The over one hitter, for him here in nine. this one. Ted Williams. Come on, big guy, see it, drive it, right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. And Chipper's got it. Two gone now. At the plate, Ted Williams. 0 for the 2 for him hitter, to this number point. Nine, Ted Williams. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted high and deep. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Home run number nine on the year as they open it up to six to two now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Digging in once again, Ted Williams. Hitter, He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. And he fouls this one off. High and deep to right center. Back goes Kiermaier to the track. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Boy, d -roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you now run the batting. replay back. Left he was field. busting it out of the he box. Does. It's just a nice job by the defense Water. to hold him to a single. Hey, your pitch. Try the Here you go. Now the three and two pitch. Four, four. And Take I don't break. think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Striding in, Jimmy Fox. And with every Number base three. occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Let's go now. One time. Come on, let it fly. Turned on down the line. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. One run scores. The run scores from second. It's yeah, an 8-2 yeah, game. Hard. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Bottom of the inning now. Way now to the play, well, Ted Williams. Through. He reached on a the single last hitter. time and later wound up Man. scoring. Williams.
first offering on its way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 12 to 2, the final score in this ballgame. Houston took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Babe Ruth earns win number seven on the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Blake Snell permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.